Hello all, Sean Birch 92 here, again bringing you another deck profile. If you're wondering why I put two up on the same day, it's just the fact that I had some free time at last. And I've just been meaning to do some updates. These are just two decks I've had, and I've just been meaning to do them. But I've got nothing new worth doing a deck profile on yet, until a few cards come out. But, yeah, let's get straight into this Matronic Quasar. So, right. One Matronic Slingin'. This card pretty much I only use just for the structure effect. If you've got another Matronic, tribute it, throw one card on your opponent's side of the field, that's all this is for, and just for the same purpose that is generally it. We'll get to the main stuff in just a minute. Triple Bomb Boxing can attack twice, and in defense mode it can negate an attack that is targeting a Matronic monster. But this is just generally for the Earth attribute, and just being my level 4 again. Then I've got three self on. When you roll a dice, yeah, you just roll a dice, you pick up that main card from your deck and summon one Matronic monster out of all those. That's so ignoring the summoning conditions as well, I'm happy to say. So, a smartphone can just be summoned straight out without ignoring that summoning condition. So, yeah, this is the key card pretty much for the whole deck. You've got to have three of him for it to work. And then we've got a free staple, and again, for the Earth attribute and the lock. Because if you've got two of these out, your opponent can't attack. Because in attack mode, your opponent cannot target any other Matronic for an attack. And if this is in defense mode, it can't be destroyed. And it switches then to attack mode. So that can be pretty handy. So if you open up this, just set it, they attack it, it's not destroyed. So that comes in pretty handy, I have to admit. Then the next main key card is Smartphone. You can special summon this guy from your hand to... Well, you can special summon this guy from your hand by banishing a Matronic monster from your graveyard. That's just quite handy. You roll a dice, same as cell phone, pretty much has the same effect as cell phone, except you add a Matronic card from your those chosen cards to your hand. So if I roll a five, I've got cell phone, repair units, and stuff like that. I could add Matronic repair unit or cell phone if I wanted straight to my hand. So this guy's brilliant to build up your hand again if you've run out of everything. Then pretty much free. Remoten. This guy is quite good. You banish Matronic from your graveyard to add a Matronic from your deck to your hand of the same level. I don't really use the defense effect, so I'm not going to go into that. But it's also a machine dupe target, which is also pretty good. I should say that as well about Cell Phone. It is a machine dupe target, and so is Smartphone. Um, right, and then we've got three Matronic Scoping. This guy can special summon a Matronic from your hand. A level 4 Matronic from your hand, which is pretty good. Also in defense mode, this guy also becomes a level 4. This guy is a brilliant tuner, because if you special summon it back, you just always slam it in defense mode to get into your synchros for 5s easier. So which is pretty good for cell phone. You roll this with cell phone, you just summon it, and you've got your hyper librarian, and you're just one step closer. And my last monster is Glow Up Bulb. Pretty much send the top card of your deck to the graveyard, and special summon this card from the graveyard. But you can't use the effect of this one's bird all. But it's pretty handy. It's a good card that just good to get rid of during the opening hand, really, if you need to. Right on to the spells next. Three Matronic repair units. Can be searched out through smartphone, I'm very happy to say. And plus power tool as well, as you probably know already. But yeah, you send a Matronic card from your it's a Matronic monster, sorry, from your hand to the graveyard. But then you've got to Nope, it's not then. And it's and select a Matronic monster, so it goes off at the same time. So you can't pick the monster you sent to the graveyard, unfortunately. You have to pick a different target. Yeah, so it's pretty good. This is the card that you use just to bring out your cell phones and such like that, and just go a bit crazy. And I run two DD dimensional revivers. There. Pretty much with this, all you do is send a card from your graveyard, type one of your banished monsters, and revive it. And with the way this card, this deck banishes stuff. It, happens quite quickly so this card comes in very handy just to deal with it and it really pisses off your opponent if they bottomless to one of your monsters then machine duplication if you've got a monster with 500 or less attack points you can activate this card summon out multiple copies of it so if I've got a cell phone I play this I get two more cell phones out same with smartphone and um, remote in. so that comes very handy free jump box this card cannot be searched for a um, smartphone because naturally it doesn't have Matronic in the name, it's Jump Box, but still very handy. You revive a Matronic from your graveyard just for that turn, and then it gets destroyed during the end. So, 
yeah, with this you just go so far and then just dice roll and just try and get a scope in and just sink from this just so it doesn't die. Now use 2D synchros for the draw of power. Because if you go form a synchro and get your two draws, just if you've got Hyper Librarian out as well, sorry, if you've got Hyper Librarian formula, because the only way you can go with it really is you use self on the smartphone. So you've used their effects, you sync up, get your double draws, activate this on formula, get the two back, use their effects again on smartphone and cell phone, get the more pluses, sync up again, get an extra two, and that's how it works really. So this guy can really just be very helpful just to add the draw power and just get a lot more hand support. I also use free Dark World Dealings. This card I'm just experimenting with still, it's proven quite useful so far. Because the problem I find is you often open up smartphone but have another in your graveyard then. So with this card you each player draws a card and you discard a card. You discard a monster you just don't need, like say slinging for example, and then you you can just banish it then smartphone and go off from there. That's why I use this and plus you do sometimes have some dead draws and this does just occasionally just help fix that issue. Then just the single ones we use is a one for one soul charge and I use one reasoning. One for one so monster from your hand to grave your special on a level one from your deck to your field. Just, well, I've got like seven of them, so plenty of targets. Soul charge just to revive everything, it's proven pretty helpful in the past. And then just reasoning. Need I say more? And then trap card. As you did here, I did say trap card because I only use one. I use um, a jar of avarice. It's just so I can bring five cards back to the deck and draw one card. This can be good during mid game. Sometimes even, even, sometimes even during the very start of it, if you open up really well and they somehow stop it, this card just really helps you just reset it and just go off again. Which is pretty helpful, I have to admit. Right, and then we've got the extra deck. It's still in my, my extra deck. This, I'll leave the X seeds to last personally. So that'll make it a bit easy to explain. I'll run two formulas. Because sometimes the first one often gets destroyed by some way or another, or you just don't have the setup, so you often need the second one. I use one armory arm as well. Because this guy with Quasar is just horrendous. It's just oh it's so funny. Double attack, five thousand attack points, and they take damage you can do the monster attack points. It's just hilarious to watch their face, it's just break. Then I've got a Catastal. Notoria Beast. This is why I like to run many Earth Matronics as possible just for this. Because naturally your opponent can't use spells that can hurt a lot of decks at the moment. Then we got an Armadis. So your opponent can't activate stuff in the attacks. One Hyper Librarian. If this ever came up I would have to run two instead. A Notoria Barking as well. Actually, to stop the trap sides of things. So, if you open up with these two without Quasar, you're just fine. Fine, they can't use spells, they can't use traps. You're just, yeah. <laughs> Have fun getting out of that. One power tool dragon. I did run two, but it was just for the space, really. I wanted to try some exceeds in it just to try and speed it up. I run one black rose as well, just in case if it was a really bad setup for me. My opponents just got me pinned, just black rose nuked the whole field, just start afresh. Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, I use this in here as well. Because yeah, with all the decks out there like Shadows, the Quill Forts, Mermails, just anything level five and high pretty much, even Quasar. Like for example, this guy just helps shut them down a bit and just gains extra power really. Yeah, I'm on one shooting star and one quasar. I did have Star's Dragon but I very rarely ever used it. Because all I do is just go Quasar, Shooting Star, and that's it. That's the only way I usually get Shooting Star is through Quasar. So, because I would never go Formula Stardust that. Only on a very rare occasion, but it just didn't seem worth it. So, yeah, that's the Synchros. And like I said, these are just in work. I've got Lava Chain and Diamond Eye Wolf. Lava Chain is mainly for the worst case scenarios in this deck. If you open up self on, you get your roll, get a level 4, but you got nothing else for you to do, and you can get another level 4 out, you just go this guy and just top deck and smartphone ready for the next turn. Or even if you don't open up self on or smartphone, you, you just use this, just put them on top of your deck. Or at least get the grave set up ready for a smartphone. That's all this guy is for. 
in the worst case scenario, that's all he's in here for. And then Wolf, I used to deal with skill drains, because as you've seen, this deck doesn't actually main deck that much destruction. Show them back throw, it stops them from activating, but if they're already out and going, then I can't do much about them. So I've got this guy that can tribute himself and just destroy skill drain or just anything like that, really. They're the only two exits. I'm thinking of running a rank 3, maybe you'll wind up Zen or something like that. I'm not sure yet, but sometimes I can go rank 3, so I'm thinking about that. And then, I've only got a 5 card side deck for this, because, well, it's I'm going to try and close it, but it's not too much I would want to side in, personally. Or I'd want to personally side in, it would be Triple MST, to, just to deal with those really annoying back row, and Matronic Acceleration. This card purely because it can be searched out through smartphone. Plus, you can return one more truck from your hand to the deck, destroy a card in the field, and draw a new card. So it's searchable and destroys cards as well. So if they got a monster you can't deal with, destroy it. If you've got a dead matronic in your hand that you don't want yet, yeah, send it back pretty much. It's proven helpful for using this online on Dual Pro. I find it works pretty well, but I do find it does need that rank 3. But yeah, besides that though, I find it works pretty well. It's a fun deck to use. It's sometimes consistent, sometimes it isn't. And it's just one of those things I'm just trying to work on, so it's a challenge, I'll give it that, that's for sure. But yeah. But that's my Metroid deck profile compared to what it was. If you're wondering what I'm on about, it's one of my very first videos I put up. It was very poor quality. Quote and it was pretty bad deck. When I looked back and watched it, I was like, oh my god. But yeah, that's enough talking, I think. For now, this is Sean Birch 92 saying thank you for watching and keep up the fight.